back to my channel so in this new series we are going to learn about the interface of push button and led with the raspberry pi pico so without any further delay let's get started if you guys haven't seen my first video in this series please go and watch it the link is in um, the description as well as you can see the label here so if you don't know about this Tony IDE, this is used to integrate the Raspberry Pi Pico and to program is uh, to program it with, uh, by using uh, MicroPython. So today we are going to uh, learn how to integrate a push button with an LED. So first of all, the first thing is that uh, we need to import the pins. The pin package actually contains all of the pins of the Raspberry Pi Pico. So we will just do from machine import pin so um, inside pin we will get all of the pins of the raspberry pi so what we want to do is that we want to declare the led pin as output and the button pin as input so we will just uh, declare sorry i'm bad at typing um, declare led as output so we will just make a variable we will just make a variable led pin and let's say it is equal to pin so the pin function takes two argument the first one is the pin number and the second one is the um its direction either it is out or in so in my case as you can see the circuit diagram um the um the image also attached and it is also shared in the description so we can see that uh, we have connected our led pin here right here this is our led pin sorry this is our led pin and it is connected to the pin number 17 so we will declare 17 comma pin dot out so pin dot out actually tells that the LED, uh, that this gpu is gonna be an output pin so now uh, what we will do is that we will have declare declare the button okay um Declare the button as input. This, so now we will again make a variable as button pin and we will let's say pin again. Uh, so pin actually takes two argument. The button is connected to GPI 15 and it is pin dot. Okay. So interaction means it is going to the input. One thing more, we have attached. Uh, sorry we have attached a resistor here you can see that uh, this resistor is actually known as pull up or pull down resistors the configuration which i have used is pull down resistors what pull down resistors do is that uh, when there is a no signal as a at the gpu pin we get some trash signal like high low high low high low either it is zero or one so that's a faulty signal or no idea what we do is that uh, we put a pull down resistor, a resistor which is connected to the ground and we attach it with the GPIO pin. So when there is no incoming input to the GPIO pin, it will always be low, we will get a low signal. And when I will press a button, the other terminal of the button is connected to the VCC. Okay, so when the button is pressed, the VCC goes to the GPIO pin and it gets high. So now we will start the our main section here. Main section, okay. Which is while true. So uh, we don't know about Python. Uh, this while true is actually the super loop in which we will just uh, looping forever and we will never exit. So this is a necessary thing to write and then what we want to do is that firstly we want to get the status of the button so we'll declare a variable status here and what's the button pin is set to the button pin variable dot value so what does the value function do the value function uh, when it is um, attached with an input pin okay it takes no argument and what it will do is that it will give you the status of the pin either it is high or low so the status variable will now store the state of the pin of the button and now we want to set the led pin led pin dot value we will use the value api again because it now it is attached with the input output pin so it will take the argument that 
whether we want to set it as high or low so we will just pass the status in it because the status will contain the state of the button so when you will press the button the status will go high and the high is passed to the pin dot value so that it will turn on let me write a comment here that uh, um, normally button is pulled low so yeah, it is pulled low and that's it we are done now just uh, one thing more uh, which i have to actually clear it let me connect with pico so the pico is connected and uh, we can see that second let me just restart it again so yeah so now our pico is connected now when we want to save this file we can save it in my computer and my pico so what we will do is that uh, when we uh, when then we will save this file into the raspberry pi pico it will dump into its memory and we can just fetch out the code from all of these files which we want to run from the pico and then we can uh, run it on the pico so that's what the advantage we uh, we get with uh, no other microcontroller like yes we don't have this region so we'll just save the file in the computer let me just press control s so now our uh, program is saved let's try running it now it's running and check if we get we got a luck yeah we got a luck you can see it now we will have the when we will press the button the LED goes high see so this is how our program is working i've actually pulled out my i've pulled out my raspberry pi people so yeah uh this was a short tutorial about how we use how we can actually configure the buttons with the leds so there are some cool projects coming up here because we will be integrating several type of sensors like temperature sensors humidity sensors and um, most of the leds and all of this stuff with this raspberry pi pico so it will be all excited to see and we'll be and we will be building some of the cool projects that we have ever seen so subscribe like and share and please comment if you feel any difficulty or uh, you have any questions and uh, you can find the code uh, and all of the circuit diagrams of uh, this project right down in my description see you next time take care bye, -bye.